1942 Willys. Two companies made them, which was both Ford Motor Company and Willys. They were both identical. Willys had won the bid in 1941 between Bantam, Ford, and themselves as far as what type of vehicle they're going to build, and obviously this is the one that got built. I found this in Denver, Colorado, sitting out in a field, and it was in terrible shape. The nice thing about these things today is that there's still a lot of parts available. As a matter of fact, you can get an entire body uh, is still available. So it was uh, in the field hospital for about a year, being fully restored. At the same time, I also found a 1941 Ford, a prototype, and that is at our dealership right now in Dayton, Ohio. So that's where that one is. But the 41 Ford is a little unique in that it was made with all off-the-shelf parts, uh, like a Ford tractor engine, a Model A transmission, uh, gauges and steering wheels, things like that of the 40 Ford cars and trucks. But that was the prototype. It entered into the, uh, into the competition. Obviously, this is the one that won. And obviously, it also won the war which is really even better for us all. After Pearl Harbor, they put the Victory Star on it, for, on, it went on all the vehicles. All World War II uh, military uh, vehicles of any sort had a 20 number followed by a serial number which was its registration. This is the proper registration number for this Jeep. When these were shipped to Europe, they were shipped over in a crate. They would just reassemble it, put the tires and things like that on, and off to the battle it would go. Life expectancy of a Jeep was normally about three months. That was it. Now I'll show you the unit numbers. We're going to walk around to the back. I, when I got the Jeep, I tried to put my father's uh, unit numbers on it. Uh, my dad had served in World War II, and I couldn't find the, his information. He passed away, in, unfortunately, in 98. But my uncle was still alive, and he's since passed. But what I did is I put his unit numbers on it. He was in the 5th Army, which was in Italy, 88th Infantry Division, 349th Regiment, Company K, and an infantry company was assigned about 12 Jeeps, so I just make it K-8. So this is my Uncle Jack Steelman's. This would have been his unit numbers, and that's how it would have appeared on these vehicles back in World War II. Great vehicle, a lot of fun. Get a lot of comments out of it. So thank you.